Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Haris and in this series of videos we will discuss about the practical applications of dentistry as we know that education without practical applications is basically or practically useless. So our topic for today is class 1 cavity preparation. Now every cavity preparation has four basic features namely the outline, retention, resistance and convenience and out of them resistance and retention according to me are very important. Now class 1 cavity preparation is one of the most basic tooth preparations in the practice of general dentistry and this is employed whenever there is a case of a pits and fissure caries on the occlusal surface of the teeth. This classification was basically given by G.B. Black. He gave us five different classes of cavities and uh, there was an addition to his classification which was the type 6 but this classification is used worldwide. Now every cavity preparation like I said before has four basic features and whenever I have a patient of a class 1 cavity preparation or class 1 filling what is it that I want? I'd certainly want that when the patient would chew from the tooth which is being filled I wouldn't want the cavity to fracture or break and all the features which prevent the breakage of the cavity is known as the resistance form. The resistance form comprises of a strong enamel margins and intact external walls. There is no filling material that is comparable to the strength of the natural tooth substance so we have to minimize the extension of our preparation and keep the enamel margins and the external walls as strong as possible. Secondly, the other features include a flat floor, rounded line angles so that there is no point of stress on a sharp line angle and a sufficient depth in case of an amalgam filling which is about 1.5 to 2 millimeters. The second requirement which I would feel is that whenever the patient would chew on the side of filling, I wouldn't want the filling to dislodge or come out of the cavity. And this comes under the heading of retention. Now the features of retention for a class 1 cavity are an occlusal convergence. Now what is occlusal convergence? Occlusal convergence basically means that the depth of the cavity should be wider as compared to the superficial portion of the cavity. And the tooth preparation should converge occlusally. And this is achieved by the use of a 245 carbide burr and this burr is specifically used whenever we are preparing a tooth for an amalgam filling. Now the property of this burr is that its working end has a small taper as I have drawn over here, excuse my bad drawing. This burr near its working end has a small taper, it converges and then it diverges. So whenever we prepare from this tooth, the deep portion would be wider and the superficial portion would be near to each other in other words our preparation would converge occlusally and another feature of retention is the dovetail preparation now, dovetail preparation is a very important feature and that requires us to extend our preparation into the grooves of the tooth and this leads to the formation of a small beautiful dovetail and this aids in retaining the filling inside the tooth now all of these features can be uh, clearly seen in my video of tooth preparation. Please have a look at it. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Harish Shakil.